I think it's real funny that none of my opponents have uh, slung any mud towards me. You know, the attacks on me were personal, have nothing to do with the sheriff's office raise. As you heard me answer Mr. Clark's question to me, the issue of the Merrill Foundation, I believe wholeheartedly is an issue and it's symbolic of what has been going on in our sheriff's office. And I think that's why people need to make a distinction. Look, I can talk about all of our infidelities up here. I'm not going that way. I, that would be personal and off the issues of the campaign, but I'm here to tell you that none of them are better than me in that regard. But at the end of the day, the issue of the sheriff's office with that Merrill Foundation, I think, is a critical issue, and it shows how the power brokers have controlled that office for nearly 30 years, and that's why you see me putting that issue out on the street. Mr. Pullman, why did this race get so nasty? Because my opponent is willing to spend $200,000 on a negative campaign. My campaign has been positive. I'm very proud of my 28-year career with the Sheriff's Department. This department does not have a, any type of corruption within that department. I take offense to Mr. Landry insinuating that this department has corruption within it. We, over the 28 years that I've been at the Sheriff's Department, we not have a, one deputy, not one deputy indicted for corruption. And that's a record that we're very proud of. And that's why I run my campaign on a positive note. I'm very proud of my career. I'm very experienced. Last four years, I've been chief deputy. I'm doing a great job. I think it uh, tells when the department's doing a great job. And I think people are going to judge me simply on the job that I do and nothing else. Okay. Um, I have one other question. Let's talk about the violence, the weapons in St. Bernard Parish. Let's talk about what you think the problem is and what you plan to do about it. Mr. Clark, you first. You know, I think that comes with, with beefing up proactive police units. Right now, we, we currently have, I was in charge of, prior to me taking a leave of absence, I was a commander of the Special Investigations Division, which includes street crimes and narcotics, which is the uh, most proactive uh, division on the Sheriff's Office. And, and again, drugs is the number one problem. Uh, as far as weapons go, we see, you know, we seize probably... 15 to 20 weapons a year, which at the end of the day, I don't think that's a whole bunch, you know, taking guns off the street, you know, based on traffic stops and executing search warrants that we do. Okay. Mr. Landry? Let me answer you like this. Other than the drug, major drug problem we have, other than the speeding in the neighborhoods that we have, other than the crimes associated with the drug problem, the theft and the, the stabbings like what occurred the other night and those things, St. Bernard's pretty safe, right? Let me tell you something. When you use the money right and you put more patrolmen out in the neighborhoods and you're proactive and you do routine, random, aggressive patrols, you can begin to get intelligence on that. You can begin to get the public trust back in that department. You can begin to get to those things before they occur. Now, you're not going to always get there before it occurs, and I understand that. But you're going to reduce the frequency of those things happening by being proactive and by spending the money to at least increase a minimum of 15% more patrolmen out in the neighborhoods. And that's how you attack that problem and all those other problems. Mr. Pullman. Intelligence-based community policing, our crime tracker program, allows us to watch crime trends, monitor those crime trends, and develop strategies to make sure we deploy our assets to deal with those type of things. We don't see a lot of violent crime in, in the parish, but when we do, we make sure that we're on top of it by deploying man manpower. We have a, a great narcotics and street crimes unit. They don't allow anybody to get any type of drug turf wars going on. They get out there. As soon as we get information that we have some drug activity on certain areas, we make sure that we deploy that unit. And that unit goes out and hits it, and they hit it hard. And that's why you don't see the level of violence in terms of drug dealing that you do in other areas of the metropolitan area. Mr. Bernadis? Uh, during the last six years of my 23-year career with the FBI, I worked intelligence. Intelligence will, will be huge in my department. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the biggest segments of the department. Part of the community policing program that Mr. Pullman speaks about um, will deal with neighborhood watch groups. No one knows their neighborhoods better than the neighbors that live there. Uh, as far as the uh, violence in St. Bernard Parish, I don't think we have uh, as much violence as in, in New Orleans or Jefferson Parish. Uh, but there, there could be a tendency for it to get greater. The St. Bernard Parish Sheriff's Office currently has license plate recognition cameras currently in use in St. Bernard, but unfortunately the data is not being utilized. I'm going to hire intelligence analysts to make sure that data is utilized, and uh, that way we can develop trends as far as who's coming and who's going in St. Bernard Parish. Okay, one further question. Uh, the current Sheriff Jack Stevens, the longest serving sheriff in Louisiana, not seeking re-election on October 22nd. Mr. Landry, we'll start with you. Why is it time for a new sheriff in town? 
Well, I, th I think, first of all, uh, I've been very vocal in, in what I think the issues are in the sheriff's office. And, and you've heard me mention them here tonight. You know, I think that the sheriff's office has put uh, a lot of despotic things going on in there. People's family members, one after another, are hired, rank and file. The, 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 the payroll has an excess of $800,000 a year of deadhead payroll. I think all of those problems, coupled with a lot of contracts that people aren't aware of that, that are very lucrative to people that actually perform no functions. That and the public trust has been betrayed, I believe, by the sheriff. And I think one of the reasons he's not running again, he just recently stepped down from the Merrill Foundation board. I think that negative has brought him to the point where he can no longer win, and that's why he stopped. But I think the people of St. Bernard are ready for a new sheriff in town someone that's not associated with that sheriff's office so they can come in and use the people's money for what it's supposed to be, their safety first. Mr. Pullman, your time there. Mr. Pullman? Well, I think the sheriff was going to retire four years ago, but we had Hurricane Katrina blow through and they had a lot of rebuilding needed to be done uh, with the infrastructure and, and the department as a whole. And I think that's why he made it a decision to run last time. But I think the sheriff has served as well. I think this department had come a long way. I started my career here back under then Sheriff Ralph McDougal before Sheriff Stevens even was in office. So I saw leaps and bounds in the way this department had transformed into one of the greatest sheriff's offices in the state. But when it comes to a point in time when you make your decisions based on politics rather than the business decisions, I think you know, that's when it's time to move on and have somebody fresh come in that's not going to make political decisions, it's going to make basically business decisions for the sheriff's department. That's what I bring to the department. Mr. Bernatus. Uh, if the sheriff would have retired four years ago instead of running again, he wouldn't have had to throw me out the race by using, utilizing a secretary to sue me for residency because I lost my house during Hurricane Katrina. Uh, as far as the sheriff's concerned and the office, the office is stale. Uh, these two gentlemen up here that currently work for the sheriff's office do a great job, but their policies and procedures are stale. You need someone that's not involved with the sheriff's office currently. You need fresh new ideas, and I, I believe I bring that. Mr. Clark? I think the sheriff's done a pretty good job over the last uh, 28 years that he's been in office. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. I think St. Bernard of Paris is changing, and I think we need to change with it. Uh, I'm the only candidate that has a plan in place that is going to bring the sheriff's office to where I believe it needs to be. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. My producer does tell me that we can take one more viewer question. Let's get straight to it. And this one has to do with possible corruption, okay? Will you protect and serve the people of St. Bernard or play favorites to the people with the most money? Mr. Pullman, you first. I think I kind of just covered that. You know, I think we need to take more of a business approach at the Sheriff's Department rather than a political approach. What I bring to this department, I'm a second generation lawman. I started my career here. I'm a professional law enforcement professional. I have 28 years of experience. I'm currently the chief deputy. I've been doing that job for nearly four years. I'm a, currently a graduate of FBI's National Academy. I think I'm the, the best trained and most experienced candidate in this race to bring this department forward. Mr. Bernadis? Well, I have not taken any money from anyone except the retired parish president, Lynn Dean. Uh, I don't have any political ties to anyone. I don't have any political ties to any business as far as being the most trained. I've been in the FBI Academy 37 times, CIA Academy, National uh, Geographic <coughs> Spatial Institute. Um, as far as training, no one tops me in training. I also have a business background. I work for the, when I worked for the FBI, I was a supervisor at the FBI, supervising the major programs there, and I also own my own business. So I, I believe I'm the most qualified. Mr. Clark. I have 18 plus years of experience on the Sheriff's Office now. I'm a graduate of the FBI National Academy. I'm also a graduate of the FBI's Leeds, which is, uh, I'm one of 2,000 graduates worldwide. Uh, as far as the corruption side of this goes, uh, one of the plans that we have is to put an OPR in place, which is Office of Pro Professional Responsibility to take complaints from citizens, and that's going to be an outside group that manages this uh, section of the Sheriff's Office. Mr. Landry. Let me answer your question that was asked, okay? 
absolutely I will put the safety of the people first. Look, I'll stand up for the people of St. Bernard and I'll take the personal attacks just to be able to do that. Most of the money in my campaign is my money. It's my investment back in our parish because I believe that somebody needs to step up and stand up for the people of St. Bernard. As far as taking from the money from the powerful or giving it to them, you talk about a test drive, they've had a test drive with me. I fought the powers that be in building that hospital to keep those people with the money out of it. And I'll continue to do so, and I'll continue to use our money for our people. That answers your question. All right. It has indeed been a spirited debate. Stand by, everybody, because coming up next, each candidate gets one minute, one minute to try to convince you that they deserve to be the very next sheriff of St. Bernard Parish. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Tonight's Commitment 2010 hot seat debate is winding down. I'm Camille Whitworth sitting in this evening for Norman Robinson. At this point now, each of the four St. Bernard Sheriff's candidates will get one minute to convince you why they are the best man for the job. The new sheriff in town, so to speak. Continuing with the order that we established at the very beginning of this debate, we want to start with you, Mr. Bernadis. You have one minute. I believe my 23-year career with the FBI, the last three years working public corruption, uh, helps me uh, to be the best qualified candidate. I have extensive law enforcement training. Uh, I have a terrific intelligence base. Uh, and I really believe that in order for St. Bernard to move forward, we have to have a great community policing program, a great intelligence program, a great drug program, and I believe I'm the man for the job. Mr. Clark. I'm going to reiterate what I said earlier. All of us up here agree that drugs are the number one problem in St. Bernard Parish. 2009, 40 plus fatal drug overdoses, un unacceptable but we reduced that by half in 2010. We were successful with that. Uh, Mr. Pullman has stated earlier on some, de some debates that we have 300 plus employees that work for the Sheriff's Office. Currently, we have five agents assigned to the Narcotics Division. Five. That is less than 2%. That is less than 2% of people working drug enforcement in St. Bernard Parish. I don't think it's time to elect a sheriff that doesn't put drugs as a top priority. I don't think it's time to elect a sheriff that has no law enforcement experience. I'm the only candidate that has the experience in the drug and law enforcement side to bring us where we need to be. Part of the plan that we have is to triple the size of the narcotics unit and have these guys working 24-7. Okay, Mr. Clark, thank you. Mr. Landry? First of all, this election is not about me. It never has been. This election is about straightening up the sheriff's office that has been corrupt and, and held by the power brokers for almost 30 years now. That's what this election is about. As far as what I will do as sheriff, I can tell you this. I will use my administrative skills, my, my expertise as that, as well as my college education in law enforcement to make sure that we are putting more patrolmen out on the streets, make sure that we are doubling what's going on in drug trafficking, make sure that we create all the peripheral programs that support that. We will also make sure that we never bow to the power brokers. We will never be bought by anyone. We will do what's right for the people of St. Bernard. We will make their safety first. Let me tell you something. The people's safety in St. Bernard is not in jeopardy with us. With us, you will get that budget money used where it needs to be. Paying the deputies more, creating all the programs that actually attack the neighborhoods, attack the, the neighborhoods from speeding, from drugs, and everything else. Time's up. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Pullman. This is the first time in 27 years that we're going to have an opportunity to vote in a new sheriff. Not only a new sheriff, a 28-year professional law enforcement officer. This is not about being an administrator. This is not about counting beans. This is about fighting crime 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And there is no substitute for experience. I bring 28 years of experience, four years of that as chief deputy, as a department head leading this department. I have a proven record. I'm looking forward to you voting for me on October 22nd. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, we certainly want to thank you for this lively discussion, and best of luck to all four of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, at this time, that is all the time that we have. We want to give a very special thanks to all of our guests, and we, of course, want to thank you for tuning in. Remember, everybody, next Saturday, October 22nd, is Election Day.